Hello everyone, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel, Cool Maniac here, and today we're playing the KD-85 on World of Tanks. Now, the map is Comorin right now, the first one, and we are top tier, which is really good, because this tank does not do very good when it's bottom tier. Uh, just because it doesn't have, well, the armor to go against the heavy weights. Now, uh, I'm gonna put the stats, you've already seen them on the screen, and... Oh, are you kidding me? That was eaten by the tracks on a tank that literally has no armor. Uh, well, thing about the KV-85, it is my favorite tier 6 heavy tank, but it does have one thing I really, really hate about it, and that is the gun depression. It literally has none. It's, well, 3 degrees, which uh, translates to if you step on a rock, you're not going to be able to hit your enemies. And not only that, but if uh, anyone, any tank that has a lower plate uh, as a weak point comes ne uh, near to you, you're not going to be able to depress the gun to actually shoot it, which is really frustrating. So you do have to adopt a very specific gameplay with the, uh, well, st game style, uh, playing style, I mean, with this tank just because of that awful, awful gun depression. Now, you might be wondering why I'm using the 100mm, uh, you know, as opposed to using the 122mm, and that, well, very good question. The answer to that is that the 122mm, even though it does have a, lo a, well, a lot better uh, damage output, it is actually not good for a tier 6 uh, tank. It does very good for a tier 7 tank, like the IS, but when you put it on the KV-85, and you're playing low tier games like this, usually you'll just get, well, outperformed. Why? Well, because every other tank on your tier that's a heavy or medium or even the light tanks will have a lot better, uh, you know, shooting time, reload time, aiming time, and whatnot. The 122mm has accuracy of uh, 0. 46, yes, I think it was, and aiming time of, well, forever. And, well, as you saw uh, on the stats I put at the beginning of the video, this gun has a lot better performances. And see what I mean? Like, the slightest elevation just puts the gun aiming at the moon. Uh, uh, whew, I really don't like the gun depression this gun. Now, this, uh, this game is just a little bit of quick, uh, fun play just to well, showcase how the tank actually performs when it's top tier. It doesn't perform bad when it's uh, middle, middle tier, meaning that when you meet uh, tier 7 tanks, but when you see, uh, when you meet uh, tier 8 tanks, uh, this tank does struggle. Yes, you could uh, do better with, slightly better with the 122mm, but uh, it's, the problem is the armor. Well, even though it's 100mm and kinda sloped, basically tier 7s and tier 8s will just have a field day with you. Uh, yeah, well, that's our sixth kill, and oh, hello, a uh, Vanquisher AC1. Let's see if we can actually get that kill as well. And we do. Okay, well, that's a nice little easy game. On Comorin, we got a Devastator, and well, that's it for this map. Let's move on. And as you can see, we well, well, I've gotten the Mark of Excellence a long time ago. I, I haven't played the tank in a long while, which is why I actually played it. Uh, next map we are on. Corellia. Now, um, hmm, is I'm not sure if the map got rearranged or something, because, well, this is a different uh, version from the Corellia, I know. Uh, might might be mistaken, though, because, well, Wargaming has changed the looks of a lot of maps uh, lately. Anyways, uh, we are gonna go to the, well, as you are seeing right now, Zero Line, and, well, why not, because if I go to the other side, I'll be in the open field and, well, I might get this destroyed easily. Uh, anyways, as I was saying, gun depression, awful. I, wow, sometimes playing with this tank is really, 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 really frustrating. Okay, we shoot the T-34, a tier 5 Soviet um, medium tank. Well, he doesn't seem to want to move, so... Oh, not fully aimed, but actually, surprisingly, did hit him. Uh, seeing as how no one is showing up from that corner... Oh, hello, there is someone, we just didn't spot him. Okay, well, let's move to the right side. Uh, surprisingly, though, I actually... Even though I don't have six cents, this is before I actually knew what I was doing, my crew is actually trained. It does have the repair ability and also snapshot ability. 
and I am currently training in the sixth sense because, well, now I know what I'm doing. Uh, keep in mind, keep in mind, this tank was unlocked when I was just playing uh, World of Tanks, just for the funsies, you know, just to relax and all that. Having, you know, at that point, I didn't spend a single cent on the game, and that's why I, well, I didn't have. Uh, all the tanks unlock like I can now. I, I now have a lot of garage slots and I can unlock whichever tanks I want and keep whatever tanks I want. Now again, uh, that gun depression is really, really, well, depressing. Uh, I'm just gonna try, oh, there we go. I'll track him, but I don't think that's gonna do any good because I don't think anyone else can shoot him. Oh, hello. Um, hmm, let's see. Can't shoot that. Okay, track the M6, I think that was. Oh, actually, we did track the OI. Maybe. Well, track him again just for the funsies. And because this guy is not using his. Well, the OI experimental doesn't have that well, good of an armor, anyways. Let's just finish him off. Well, and before we can, someone else does. Uh, we are gonna aim at the M6 now. He is presenting his side nice, nice, improper. Now, the 122mm on this gun actually just has 5 uh, millimeters of penetration more. This gun has 170 millimeters of penetration, the 122 millimeter has, well, 175. Yes, it's a bigger uh, caliber, and yes, it will perform better, but like I said, in tiers when you are, well, in battles when you are top tier, it's just not a good a gun. A lot of tanks, yes, you can one shot, but because of the, well, awful, awful accuracy, you do take the risk of actually, well, aiming the, fully aiming the gun, the gun, shooting the gun, the gun not performing the way it should, missing the target, and then everybody just has their uh, fun with you. Because by the time you reload, every other tank will just destroy you. It's, it's as simple as that. It doesn't matter how good a crew you have, it doesn't matter how... Oh, that guy just... Okay, well, since everybody is pushing, I decided, well, let's just go for it. Uh, snapshot. Ooh, nice. I mean, it didn't need to happen because he didn't have that much health left. But still, hey, an Amorak is an Amorak. Now the Hellcat is obviously uh, well, panicking because he is being ganged, and it's pretty obvious who's gonna win this game. Just trying to get more kills if we can. Don't highly doubt it. This tank does go 34 kilometers, but <laughs> that's only if you if you have flat. Uh, planes to go through so and well this is the victory on uh, this map on uh, Corellia and we do um, a very good mastery badge sniper which is always fun to get with a Russian tank well I mean this tank uh, is more accurate than your normal Russian tank but it is what it is uh, well next and last battle from this video we are on Fisherman's Bay now because this gun obviously doesn't have any gun depression to speak of. It does say 3 degrees, but it might as well say nothing. Because, uh, like I said, the slightest, slightest uh, elevation or, you know, n well, basically not flat surface that you step on, and the gun cannot shoot your enemies. So we are going on in the city, in the city area of uh, Fisherman's Bay because obviously, well, again, no gun depression. Oh, hello, we spot a T-29. Cannot shoot him. Uh, he doesn't shoot us as well. Oh, a tiger. Oh, we miss him. He doesn't miss us. Damn it. Okay, that tank does overperform. He, he is a tier 7 as you can see this uh, game. Okay, well, kind of was hoping that the gun would actually shoot his weak point, even though that was a long shot. So, we are gonna move from here because at this location he has the advantage. He has better accuracy, better penetration, and well, actually his gun has the same penetration as mine. It is the modified version of the 88 mil short 88 millimeter that has 170 millimeters of penetration. The Tiger 131. At least I'm, I think so. But, uh, yeah, he does outperform me in any way because he does have better aiming time, better, uh, well, oh, we get the T-29, uh, better, um, reload time and all that, so not gonna about to brawl with him like that. 
Uh, well, let's see if we can get a little bit of revenge on him. Okay, he is backing off. Come on, come to... Come on, just, just come out. Let's see. Well, if he's not gonna move, I'm gonna move. Okay, oh, he decided to go up. Let's see if we can actually shoot him. Yes, we do. We do do some damage, but yeah, not much. He seems to be focused on someone else. Let's see if we can actually go and shoot him before... Oh, he did shoot again. Okay, so that guy actually does have a good trained crew, because... His reload time... Oh, well, <laughs> I mean, he's done good with his tank. After all, he does have, uh, I think it was two marks of excellence from what I saw on his gun. And now we see a normal Tiger, which, by the looks of things, isn't fully upgraded. Shoot him, of course, the gun show shoots at a place that it cannot penetrate. Uh, let's try this again. Okay, this time we do shoot and, well, surprisingly penetrate the upper part of the frontal turret of the tiger, which is good. This time he is presenting inside, let's just aim. We are not spotted, spot it. We're not spotted. And well, uh, penetrate him again, because the sides obviously of the tiger are very weak. Again, oh, and this time we damage his ammo rack, that's good. So if nothing else, he will have to burn his uh, repair kit to Fix that ammo rack, shot the KV-3, and obviously penetrate him. Uh, I think, well, I'm pretty sure, not, not, not just think, that he doesn't have an upgraded turret. Oh, there we go, that's good. The Oni, that thing is actually pretty tough for uh, my tank, actually, to penetrate, so pretty happy that went in. I mean, of course, it's the side, so it is gonna get in. Hey, well, oh, uh, well, he moved. Uh, never mind. Okay, so at this point I decided, you know what, let's uh, circle around, go from the back, and... Well, I was actually more concerned about getting a shot at the guys at the, you know, capture circle than I was getting the KV-3 air and Tiger tank, but seeing as how our teammates actually do try to attack them... Okay, and then this is what, again, what I'm talking about. No gun depression whatsoever, and this is not a steep... Uh, steep place to climb, so... Uh. And we're going here, and let's see if we can actually... There we go. He is suffering from the uh, tunnel vision syndrome, which is good for us. Alright, well, he does shoot us, doesn't penetrate us. Oh, the KV-3 came. Okay, well, I mean, that gun isn't as dangerous as it can be, but it does have a better... Ooh, okay, lucky, lucky fire. Yes, 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 yes. Okay, we got him. That was pretty lucky. Okay, so, like I was saying, uh, he wasn't upgraded, but his gun had better, well, reload than ours. Actually, kind of the same, but he could have killed us if that fire didn't do what it did, so I'm pretty happy with that. Now, uh, well, obviously, it's just cleaning up at this point, and I am trying to find a shot in this, this tank. Uh, where did it go? Oh, there it is. Okay, let's see if we can actually... Mm, I don't think we can shoot him. I'm gonna try, cause, you know, why not? You miss every shot you don't take, so... Nope, nope, not gonna work. Nope, I don't think I can hit him, so... Well, I, I'm pretty sure the artillery is somewhere here. Well, I mean, it was shooting from here and it was spotted, uh, I think, a while back. I forget. I have the memory span of a goldfish. Now, let's see, um, did, are you here somewhere? I swear, artillery and their uh, cloaking devices, you could say. It's kind of a bullshit thing, but, you know, it is what it is. Also, they need to be rebalanced. Okay, let's fix this so we can go f faster. Where the hell is this artillery? Oh, oh, okay, well, he... Well, actually, that's pretty good. He started moving. He wasn't like usual artillery, just sitting in one place waiting to be killed or trying to drown. So, good for him. Props to him. Why are they... Okay, this is why I don't like. I mean, we only had the uh, artillery left and they tried to win by capping. Why? Why would you do that? Anyways, we do win and it was a pretty good game. 2,700 damage, another mastery, and also we, uh, well, increased our uh, 
damage output and stuff. Anyways, thank you for watching. Thank you for joining me. If you did like the video, please leave a like and subscribe. Share if you can. It does help the channel. And see you in the next video. Bye-bye.